Today's sermon is about <laughs> you guys. All right. Today's sermon is about reality. I did a poll on Twitter. I will pull it up. I pull, pull up the poll. The poll was, this is, and you guys can vote before I show you the answers. Is reality 100% fake, 50-50 real and fake, obviously real, or too real? You get to vote on these, on this. What do you feel like? Do you feel like reality is 100% fake, 50-50 real and fake, 100% real, or too real? What we got on our poll was that 43% of people believed that it was 50% real and 50% fake. Only 17% of people feel like reality is real. The same amount of people who feel like reality is 100% fake. We had 30 votes. 23% of people felt like it was too real. I feel like it's too real. Hang on, sorry, I thought the audio was on. Okay, so is reality too real? That's just what I feel. Obviously, everyone's voting different things, 50-50 real fake. Some people are saying, Will says, Will has a great point, 100% real um, individually, personal reality. And that is true, and we will, get, we will come back to that. Um, what we're talking about today is this very human experience of feeling like reality isn't real, like feeling like there's a veil, feeling like there's a curtain, feeling like we know there's something more beyond this realm, feeling like, and, and, and what can we prove? So here, here's how we're going to break it down. We can trip the fuck out if we focus on these theories of reality. If we focus on thinking that we're in an afterlife, thinking that we've died, thinking that we're in a simulation, it can start to get really freaky. Because when you watch The Matrix and you or The Truman Show, I resonate more with The Truman Show. That shit scares me. Because I'm like, I feel like there are beings watching me. I feel like this reality is set up for me. The reason why I know how to talk about this is because I am victim to having these really scary, intense, weird thoughts about reality and about what reality is. You can go down a freaking rabbit hole thinking that your reality is designed to trick you or harm you or whatever. Um, and so we're going to talk about coping mechanisms and like ways to approach the understanding that reality doesn't feel real. If you're somebody and you just feel like reality feels real, you don't feel like there's a deeper secret knowledge or there's a deeper secret or a joke or anything like that, that's good. Like, you can just go about your life and it's not going to be like this difficult situation for you. But the advice that I'm going to give today in this sermon actually will help you also. Um, 
we recently had, if you see some weird comments in our video today, um, on YouTube especially, we were featured uh, as a video on someone's channel who just makes fun of people. So there's a lot of, we, we got an influx of trolls. Here in Unicult, we have a very high uh, troll conversion rate which means that we recognize that trolls are uh, wanting to belong, they are lonely, they are... Um... Ooh, what are we talking about the Almighty Op for? I love the Almighty Op. <laughs> I love the Almighty Op! The Almighty Op is the answer, the key, and the reason! Um, yeah, so we have a very high troll conversion rate. Trolls, uh, we allow you to say a certain level of garbage. If you start saying garbage that is offensive or attacking, we will block you. Um, we give you the option, though, before we block you, that you are allowed to stay and enjoy Camp Church if you would like. Um, you just have to stop saying garbage things. <laughs> um, so that's always an option. And, and you get to choose to be converted to Unicult, or you get to choose to continue to be a troll outside of here. No big deal. Okay, so what really matters when we're in reality? I think this is very similar to the Flat Earth argument. You know, um, if you get really upset, if you get really overwhelmed with the idea that the earth is flat and you really believe that's true, um, you're going to suffer. You're going to, you're going to have a negative experience because if you, if you're like, yeah, the earth's flat, it doesn't bother me. Oh, I'm having deja vu. If you're like, ooh, it's strong. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. If you're like, the earth is flat, it doesn't bother me, and you just go about your life, like, no big deal, then that's fine. That's not a big deal. But if, this is so strong deja vu. It's crazy. I feel like I've already done this sermon. If you have the idea that the earth is flat, and you're like, everyone's tricking me. This is a trap. This is a prison planet. I can't get off. Like, your experience, your day-to-day -day life is going to be very bad. In Unicult, we talk about consciousness. We talk about our individual realities, our understanding that like our own consciousness is the most real thing that can possibly be. Your own consciousness is literally the most real thing that you can experience. And when we talk about reality being fake, my goal of this sermon is to help you understand that like your consciousness is real. So your reality like Will said, is 100% real. And you get to choose how to interpret the happenings of the world. You have a certain level of control over those happenings, but you have 100% control over your reaction and your response to those happenings. So one, the, two, the two points that I want to make about this is that there are certain beliefs that can really help you in your day-to-day -day life, if you suffer from feeling like reality is fake, if you suffer from feeling like simulation theory is real, if you suffer from feeling like the earth is flat or like this is a prison planet or that this is a simulation designed to enslave you or entrap you, which are, which are all thoughts that I have had. The universe is here to help you. So I oftentimes will believe that this is my afterlife and that this is all a simulation and it's designed for me particularly. And I can believe that in two different ways. I can say this, this reality is here to hurt me and to torture me. Or I can say this reality is here to teach me. And so when you change your thinking and you change your focus from torture to learning and you, you realize that you can actually benefit from every torturous device that's ever happened to you, um, you have a better day-to-day -day life. Maybe you, we are in hell, but ultimately I believe that the universe is here to help us. So when you understand that and you understand the potential for growth and learning in every situation, when you understand the potential for overcoming 
negative cycles of thinking, when you understand the power of your own consciousness to transform any situation to something that can be highly beneficial to you, you hack the system and you live a life that is full of joy. We don't define hell for you. This is like, a, this is, I'm trying to give a framework of understanding for like whatever your reality is like, whatever you end up thinking or focusing on. Um, the, it, Carmen says with endless blessings and yes, the more you can focus on transforming your reality to be full of not just being helpful to you, but being full of blessings that are coming your way, the more you wake up and you say, what a great day it is to be alive on planet earth. I'm so grateful for all the stuff. Gratitude is the key. Gratitude is the key. Gratitude is the key. The second point I want to make about this, if you ever feel like you're dead, if you ever feel like you're in a simulation, if you ever feel like this isn't a real reality, all you have to do is realize that you're awake, you're alive, you are conscious. That is the only thing that matters. The structure around yourself it could be fake. It's probably fake. I don't know. It could be real. It could be anything. The only real thing that matters is your own consciousness, your own mind. Your consciousness is real. You cannot dispute that fact. Your reality is real. You cannot dispute that fact. You are experiencing every moment of every day. Maybe it's not what you expect to experience. Maybe it doesn't make sense around you, but what does make sense is that you're able to think this doesn't make sense. Your own consciousness is your safe haven. Your own consciousness, whether it's in a simulation or what, is gonna be fine. Like you're, you're fine. If you think you're dead, you just look at yourself, you say, wow, I'm obviously alive. Maybe I'm in some kind of afterlife. Maybe I'm in some kind of simulation. Maybe I'm in some kind of video game program. Doesn't matter because I have my consciousness. I have myself. I have my own awareness. Your thoughts can benefit you or they can harm you. Pink Moon is asking some questions about reality. Um, Pink Moon, I would say you have a little bit of research to do. I can't, I can't describe to you the entirety of Unicult you know, Ideology and this one cam church, but do watch some videos on this channel to get a better understanding of what reality is as defined by Unicult. I think you will benefit from it greatly. Um, that's my whole sermon. It's simple, but it's important to just acknowledge You were, you're, you were generally worried that your whole life was just a video game like The Sims or something. Yeah, sure, maybe it is. But you have your own consciousness. You're still alive. You're still here. You can still grow and learn from every situation. Ooh, I was in Cassie's dream and I put myself as an emoji in the sky with stars. <laughs> Love it. You can join Unicult on Etsy. I'm going to post a new video called How to Join Unicult soon. I mean, if do we have free will? Do we? Is predeterminism real? If predeterminism is real, do we have free will? I don't know. The free will we do have is over our own consciousness. The free will we do have is over our own reality and our own response to every situation. If somebody gives you a hug and they're like, you're amazing, I love you so much, and you're like, ooh, I hate this person in your head, then you're going to create a bad reality. You have free will to think that. You also have free will to be like, oh, I really enjoyed that hug and I think this person is so kind. You're going to change your whole reality by having positive thoughts. That's where we have free will. You're having deja vu because we talked about free will in the dream. No, this is a, like we're in a portal. 
I can't even see the future right now. That's because, like, we're in a deep portal. I can't see the future at all. Oh, it's so annoying. I can normally see the future crystal clear. 